Hi everybody, my name is Nanika Edwards. I'm a poet, author, artist, linguist, educator um, from Trinidad and Tobago in the Southern Caribbean. Today I'm continuing with my series on marriage and today's topic is men versus women, the basics. <laughs> and when I say versus, I don't mean against in a hostile kind of way. I just mean what I mean is comparing men with women. I think that we're really meant to be complementary. And it's kind of sad that um, so many discussions today about men and women, um, that these discussions often pit us against each other, but we're really meant to be complementary to each other. Okay, so let me, so let me begin. Personally, I think that if we all took the time to research the psychological differences between both sexes, way more marriages would succeed. So often, partners end up butting heads because they expect to be understood when neither side has educated him or herself on what makes Venus and Mars compatibly distinct from each other. If more couples did their quote-unquote homework and were more willing to serve than to lord it, the divorce rate would nosedive. I'll help you out a bit. Here is the single most important difference between men and women that breaks many marriages, but that's really supposed to make marriages work when the rules of engagement, quote unquote, are respected. Woman thinks, I need to feel safe. Man thinks, don't make my pride chafe. I'll say that again. Woman thinks, a woman thinks, I need to feel safe. A man thinks, don't make my pride chafe. So, ladies first. A woman's most fundamental need is to feel safe and protected emotionally, physically, financially, and spiritually especially in a Christian context, right, spiritually, or, or in a religious context. When a man is verbally harsh, example, slashing his wife's confidence with cutting sarcasm or threatening physical violence or breathing emotional blackmail, right, when a man is verbally harsh in those ways or other ways, she will never be a dream wife. When a husband brutishly pulls the purse strings or barges his way around bedroom encounters like some seething, salivating beast or lays forceful hands on a fragile soul, that woman is going to feel vulnerable and exposed to the harsh realities of, quote-unquote, the jungle out there right in the quote-unquote, safe haven of her own home. Husbands, if you're a bully at home, don't expect your wife to be particularly endeared to you. She might be petrified of you, but you'll get zero respect, even if you pound the table with clenched fists and a mean face. By contrast, if a man handles his wife gently, and with great sensitivity and kindness, while still being strongly masculine, she'll melt like butter. Funny how most men don't get this. Try it, guys. See how it works, because it works like a charm, especially if you turn up as that knight in shining armor every single day. Now for the gents. For men... Feeling safe is less of an issue, for obvious reasons. A man's most basic need is respect. Protect my pride. 
If his wife emasculates him by putting him down in public or private, he will shut down. If a wife makes her husband feel like a little boy or full-grown eunuch, he will turn off like a lighter or fireplace doused with arctic water. On the other hand, if his spouse makes him feel manly in little ways, he'll man up and be the hubby you need him to be, you know, in most cases, right? I'm not saying that this would happen in all cases, but in most cases, I think this would this would be the end result. Honey, can you check my car engine for me? Hearing a weird noise. Handsome, can you help me brainstorm? I'm stumped. Hey there, Iron Chef. I don't know how to cook. Would you be willing to teach me? <laughs> That'd be me, by the way. <laughs> Men need respect like lungs need oxygen. Funny how many ladies don't get this. Rest assured, though, that the vixen vultures circling around them at work do. If a woman feels safe, she won't let you go. Give a man respect and he'll stay on one bended knee. That's a win-win. If you enjoyed this video, thank you for giving it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more content like this, or if you'd like to continue exploring what is available on this channel um, with an expectation of seeing more content like it, I would encourage you to subscribe.